So parkour has been a big talking point for Shadows in the last couple days because of this 30 second clip Ubisoft released. I initially wasn't going to talk about it because it's only 30 seconds, and I figured I'd wait for something more substantial before sharing my thoughts, but I've been wanting to make a video regardless of kind of expressing my concerns about parkour and Shadows, so I might as well talk about this clip as well as it directly feeds that point. My initial reaction from seeing this was I thought it looked janky, and a lot of the physics on the flips looked really slow and floaty. I know people are pretty mixed on all the flips Naue is doing. When I first saw that Naue would do flips in parkour, I initially liked the idea. It makes sense for this light and agile shinobi, and it brings a bit of flair and personality to this character's movement that we haven't seen before. But the flips in this clip and some of the other snippets we've seen look like they still need some polishing. Like these flips are defying gravity a little with how long Naue hangs in the air for. Another thing is in this clip in particular, they seem very excessive. And so I'm curious how often these flips are going to trigger, because it happens almost every time she does a jump. Is there going to be a specific input we can do to trigger the flip, or is it going to happen on specific jumps? Is it going to happen randomly? Because if they're happening this often, I can see that getting pretty annoying. But like I said, overall, I like the idea of the flips and acrobatics being a part of Naoi's moveset. Hopefully they get this polished up more before the game launches though, because they don't look quite right at the moment. The next point I want to talk about is that parkour still looks very similar to the RPG games, with some new animations here and there, a grappling hook, and flips. Bear with me on this analogy here, but if Valhalla's parkour was a bowl of lettuce, Shadows adding a grappling hook and flips is like putting a dressing on the lettuce. But it's still really just a bowl of lettuce, it's not the delicious salad with all the other vegetables and grilled chicken, with all that mechanical depth that we used to have with the old parkour systems. Man, I'm hungry. I was never expecting this to be the game where parkour returns to its former glory, although you ask me, it's still a little ridiculous that we can't get parkour even close to the same level as the original of the game series from 17 years ago, but I suppose that's a bigger talking point for another video. But hearing that this game would be on a new version of the Anvil engine, I was hoping that they would be rebuilding the movement and all the parkour animations, so that maybe it could be a significant improvement from the previous RPG games. But from the looks of it, that's not really the case. You can still see this is very clearly the foundation of the same movement system we've had for going on seven years at this point. And a lot of people have pointed out that many of the animations have resembled Eivor's from Valhalla. Which is very concerning, because obviously Eivor's movement had a lot of heft and slowness to it. I assume because they're a viking and they wanted the movement and parkour to be a lot slower and heavier to resemble that, but that presents a problem when using that movement as a base for Naue, because she shouldn't be slow and heavy to control, she's supposed to be this very light and agile shinobi. There are moments of what we've seen where she looks fast, but as people have pointed out, her jumps and the little stumbles we see in her parkour are from Eivor. They're not even using the modified movement Ubisoft Bordeaux created for Basm, where he moves and recovers from stumbles a lot quicker. Which is weird, you would think for a character like Naue, you should use Basm's movement as a base as opposed to Eivor, but Shadows was actually in development before Mirage even started development, so that's probably why it's building on Valhalla's movement more so than Mirage. And of course, another likely consequence of that is that there's a good chance Shadows won't carry on the eject height update from Mirage, that allowed you to gain height on side and back ejects, making them far more viable. Which, if that's the case, kinda sucks. Obviously Mirage's parkour is still not close to the ideal version of what many would want from this series, in both mechanical depth and fluidity, but there were some good improvements from that system, and to not at least carry those on in Shadows seems like a mistake. As for the grappling hook, I don't have much of a problem with it, I think the physics based swinging will be pretty fun, and can allow for a certain level of creativity and stealth. As we saw in the gameplay demo, you can assassinate someone while swinging off of it, which looks really cool. However, I was watching Rapatopoulos' video where he made a really good point about being able to just grapple up these small overhanging roofs, and how that essentially kills one of the purposes of parkour, and actually having to analyze, climb, and use parkour to get to an elevated position. Again, this was a similar issue in Syndicate, where you could literally just skip parkour and climb up a building by just using the rope launcher. So being able to swing and use the grappling hook from jumps in situations like these is cool, 
but I definitely agree that being able to just use the grappling hook to essentially skip parkour and get up to a rooftop diminishes the point of parkour to begin with. Another concern I've had as well though, is how well is Shadows' world going to be designed for parkour? So far, we've really only seen Naue engage in parkour in these large castle areas. We haven't seen any parkour in a dense city and how well they're actually designed for it. The thing is, this is obviously a big RPG like Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, and so like in those games with the big open worlds, there's going to be more open and empty spaces where parkour is not usable and the main mode of traversal will be on horseback. Hopefully the occasional dense city will have good parkour design, but that remains to be seen as they've only showcased parkour in these castle areas so far. Which is a bit strange, you would think if Ubisoft was wanting to showcase parkour in shadows and get people excited about it with a short clip, they would choose an area that's better designed for it like in a dense city. I don't know, this just doesn't seem like the kind of parkour clip you'd want to showcase to get fans excited about it. Again, I wasn't expecting Shadows to be the game that restores parkour to its former heights in the series, especially with this being an RPG where, like the other games, the world just isn't really designed for parkour to be anything more than just a way to get from point A to point B in a simple way. But even with that expectation, I think AC fans are still allowed to be upset that here we are in 2024 and still have worse parkour than we did from 15 plus years ago. Like, when does parkour become important enough to Ubisoft to finally be a main focus again? One day, I hope we get the AC game that has the mechanical depth and fluidity of the classic system and the level of animations, expression, and flair from Unity, but from what we've seen from Shadows, it's clear it's not going to be that game. Some people may not care, after all it's an RPG, and the other RPG games didn't have much focus on parkour either, so to some people it may not be a big deal. Even though I am a champion of the old AC games, I still try to keep an open mind and do my best to enjoy the RPGs, so I absolutely plan on giving Shadows a fair shake and getting as much out of it as I can, but to those who have grown incredibly frustrated at the constant regression of parkour in this series, I can certainly share in that sentiment as well. Let me know what you guys think though, and as always, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, and consider subscribing if you're new. We're likely going to be getting a lot more Shadows gameplay soon, so thank you for watching everybody, and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.